Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! Today, again on Terraform LE, we got a TVT, this time against a barcode player. Spawning in the left top position, it's the red barcode. Woo, red barcode! And his opponent me spawning in the right bottom position, it's the blue Terran Alex Sasha. Here we go, guys. This is it. This, this is it. Ah. Ooh. Oh, very nice block with the supply here. The supply depot prevents Reaper from jumping in at that position. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's that's not too bad. I guess it could also block Holosai from moving up. Huh. Potentially. There we go. Gas first for me. And 12 barracks for our red Terran. And behind that, I guess we will see. Shwoop There is the 13 racks. So, yeah, for now I just got one opening, one build order for each match, which is okay for me. I'm doing quite good with this on ladder. In tournaments, that's definitely something else. So if I wanna play on tournaments, in tournaments like the Go for StarCraft 2, or maybe even the WCS Qualifier Open Challenger, not not no not Challenger, the, the, the Open Qualifier, yeah, the Qualifier, yeah, where we have like brackets up to 512 player and more. Uh, like eight of eight best of ones in a row until you get final to your best of three and then you're still at, at like the round of 64 stuff like that uh, but I definitely want to do this play some tournaments but for that uh, don't be that annoying oh he's attacking the factory low uh, no if I want to play tournaments I guess I have to get two to three more build order for each matchup I could play bio in TVP the build order is quite the same. The only thing I need to do is not get in the gas, but throw down two barracks, get the gas later on, but I need to practice this, then I would be fine. In TVT, go for the Hellion Benji elevator, in the, maybe. And then a Benji opening instead of the Raven, some stuff like that. Or just straight Reaper expand. And in TVC, that's more difficult, but I guess I could play one Reaper into Reactor uh, Marine, then Hellion, ben, uh, Hellion and Medivac drop, stuff like that. Or just a uh, Hellbat push. But I need to practice this, so yeah. For now, standard stuff for me. But we have... Ooh, the starport with the tech lab. And this is super early, look at that. I mean, it's a bit risky because he's all only on two marines now, but... He will be able to produce the Spangy super early, he doesn't need to switch, which costs so much time normally. Not so much time, but like 3 to 5 seconds. And yeah, I also love the Supply Depots. Thank you Connor for pointing that one out. Uh, you were right with uh, my build, I should not get the Supply Depots behind my wall, because the potential of an alien run by is there. I uh, have one Supply right there, is good for the vision of the drop. And the rest here being closed for the Hellions. So thank you for that tip. I'm doing this now anytime I remember it. Here we have two Hellions. No, one Hellion against... Oh, that's so nice. This trap. Who this trap. Who this trap. Ah! Survives. No! Dies. Okay. So I saw what's coming. And I guess I am assuming the Hellion Marine Elevator. But look at that. It's Raven into Cloak Banji, so totally misread that. And this is very cool, somehow. I mean, the Raven pops roughly at the same time as mine. And behind that, he can go for the Cloak Banji, but he's going for a Viking instead. Ooh, poking into that. Oh, and look why the supply is so nice, because I, I, they don't line up if I'm doing this right. Oh, this is really nice. So, thank you again. Really good tip there. Really good tip, Connor. Alright. Ooh, the Balkot Terran. 
going for some Mickey Mac. Mac hype! So we will see Mac against Biowish game style I'm playing. Uh, the orbital commands, the command center is a bit late here, but it's okay. Mines will land, I guess, roughly at the same time as, sign, uh, as his will finish, so it should be quite equal. Uh, do we have to drop? There's the drop. There's the raven. There's the marine. Won't spot it. But there's a barracks floating across the map, being super annoying. And he will see the raven, I guess. Ooh, maybe not? Yeah, he will see the raven. Will he pay attention to it? That's the big question. There are two medivacs. Ooh, avoiding that one. But he saw the raven and there's the banji. Ooh, late banji, very late banji. So I should not call down mules or scan either. Oh, that's not good, he got the banji. I did the same mistake here. I did against 4 -G. But this game was played before 4 -G, so it's, it's okay. How much damage will this damage deal, uh, Benji deal? I don't know. But there's a big drop! Ooh! Double turrets. Tanks are sieged. You need to come back. There are the Hellions. And this Benji uh, goes into the base. Two is killed so far. Being annoying. Really good evacuation there. Uh, the Benji. Killing stuff left and right. Uh, Hellions not getting the connections they wanted with the. Roof with the hell, uh, hell flames there. Finally, the scan goes down. Just two kills, which is not really good for a banji. Uh, he lifts it up. There he goes with the hellions. Now he gets his shots he wants. Uh, there's the raven. Gets the auto turrets. Good kiting back with the marines. Dealing so much damage. I guess I clear all those marines. Oh, look at the supply. Uh, will I be able to get the tank? Uh, no way. Uh, I might lose the Raven or the Medivac here. But yeah, I, I killed a lot of SMEs here, so... Looking good for me now. But yeah, I should definitely... Keep in mind not throwing down mules at this stage of the game. Because I don't really need it with the income you can see. Okay, I'm a bit late on the barracks, to be honest. So maybe eh, difficult to tell. I need, of course, I need to scan his main base. This is one scan I need to do, but maybe I don't need to throw down another new. I guess just to be able to save, be safe against the banshee. Because if I don't see the banshee with the raven or the medivax, then this can deal game-ending damage. And good thing I got the raven safe. So I can move across the map and be annoying as well. Maybe contain this guy. Just a little bit, be annoying. He got the Viking, right? Yeah, a bit out of position, but still. Oh, I got two Vikings. Ah, so I got the air, air, air control and I can slowly siege forward and maybe deal real damage here, but so far I would love to see Stim and Combat Shields. Behind that, I'm going for my unique strategy, Instant Via Raven, which is helping a lot. Ooh, those Hellions! Loses one of them. Big blow. I guess he wants to go for a sneak attack. And there are some SVs, there's nothing to defend, he can go for that. If he wants. Ooh, the drop on top of the tank. We'll be able to clear this one, I guess. Barely! Oh, I get it! And there's another tank on top of the ramp. The Hellions might be able to deal with that. Yeah, they should be able to deal with that. Good repair. But he's taking some damage on the Orbital Command. The Hellions still in, in, inactive here. He's patrolling on top of that. But yeah, he can't. He, he got PDD. So with the point defense drone, he couldn't contest this. But he's waiting for the second Viking just to be sure uh, that he will win this air fight. I pulled back mostly, I guess? No, I lost mostly. Okay. Ooh, turret and viking land, killing so many more SCVs. Up to 20. Lowering this SCV count. Oh, be super annoying. The Hellions! He's losing a lot of them as well. Ooh, there they come, but here is the auto turret. Uh, the viking lands. 
Siege tanks unseaging and he might lose this. So, so look at the supply. That's not looking too good here. I should pull back. There's still this barracks there, but behind that we see the second starport, which should have been produced way earlier. You can see it, my bank. And I'm also supply capped quite heavily, but for now I'm okay because I'm dealing so much damage. But he got a third command center himself. Uh, me too, so he's not out of the game quite yet, but he's in a very tough spot. There's the armory and another factory, so he, he was on two factories for, for such a long time. So don't, don't, don't trade with the Hellions. Uh, auto turret will burn down. There we go. Uh, I'm still on to base. Uh, more barracks being produced. A second starport with the tackle for the Raven. I don't have the upgrade for the Raven. I also don't have Stim yet. Stim is just now finishing. I saw once a game, I guess it was Hard with his pole. And Hard completely forgot Stim for like 20 minutes in game. And I guess he was able to win somehow? Don't, don't ask me how, but that was incredible. If I remember right, this was on Catalina. Very nice. If I would just only remember my stuff for studies as well as for StarCraft 2, that would be helpful as well. But man, StarCraft 2 is so much more fun than studying, isn't it? At least for me. So, the Berg's lands will get cleared now. And with that, he's, all, he's only on three factories, so... He can't produce more factories with losing the barracks. That's why I have the barracks floating around near my bases. So it will provide me some vision, but I can still produce uh, factories if I play Mac like I do in. Oh, carefully! In TVP. Uh, how many SVs died there? Not too many. Uh, but he was doing really good in catching up. I have to say that. So I should have produced way more SVs. You can see it. I'm not producing any SVs there. No SUV is being produced. He doesn't produce SUV as well right now, but okay. Some Hellions, they may sneak in later on, but they are Marines. And he doesn't have... Oh, he has Blue Flame now. That's good. Where's the scan? Oh, sorry. Where's the scan? Where's the scan? I didn't... I did scan. I have no clue. Oh, maybe he scanned there, but I don't know why. I'm not quite sure. Okay, send the turret. More turrets as well. This is a 4GG turret, you see it? If you watched the crazy replay against 4GG I played, this is definitely a 4GG missile turret against Banshees. This is such a good turret. I should transfer some worker. The problem is, I don't have enough orbital commands to take another base, nor do I have enough uh, minerals. So, because of me playing so bad this game, he was able to catch up in supply, at least in worker supply, not in army supply, but in overall supply, and he still got the one raven, which is really good. Not as good, I would say, as my seven raven here, but I need to take another base. There's another base. I need a base. Get me a base. Throw it on a base. It's very bad to have 15 SUVs. Working on one mineral field. That's not good. That's really bad. It lowers my income quite a lot. I mean, okay, now I got mules, but still not good for me. And I finally get the uh, Corvette reactor. As well as three Raven. So I'm on four starports now. That's really helpful. I got a lot of bio with not the best upgrades. Uh, I just got one eBay this game. Could be a mistake. Maybe it was intentionally. Um, because of all the splash, but having upgrades is indeed important. There we go. Ooh, he unseaches his tank. Might lose it. Need to be very careful. He steams forward. There we have the medivacs full of halberds. He might drop on top of the tanks. Uh, leads to be to kill those. But the bio spread really nicely. Good seeker missile shots there. The marauder might be able to kill a tank. Oh, so close. But the Halberd's killing three tanks for himself, which is really good. Most of the bio was in the back, and uh, I guess it's okay. Getting so close, but I will go get this tank as well. Maybe the other one as well. Come on, 
No, the Marauder not reacting there. I was AFK. Still no base for me, and as you can see, the backing player. Of course, he's behind quite a lot. Uh, he remade the barracks, so now he can finally produce more factories, but in the harvest account, he's okay now. Uh, but base wise, he could take another base. Well, I am just now finally transferring a series somewhere here. This is so light. I should take another base as well. Two bases at the same time. We have a Hellion run by. His upgrades? Not the best, but it's okay. He can't afford everything. That's a problem for him. And this base is under heavy attack all the time. Ooh! This drop! Being so annoying. I will get a tank. Maybe two. If I'm lucky. No, not gonna happen. But a tank for a dropship is okay. There are some helmets. Oh, this those helmets! Killing so many SCVs and mules! Mm, that's good for him. Oh, Stim to win! Oh, so close! 8 HP. I guess with the plus 2, he would have had this tank as well. But he killed a lot of SCVs, so I need to remake them. Which I'm currently doing. And I'm still attacking this base. I guess he could need a Viking. There we go. Vikings. Good snipe on that one. The scan. Dropping. Oh, the Raven. Look at the. Look how fast the Seeker misses were. And bomb. And that's why Raven are so good in TVT. And this is now the latest game. And I got a lot of Raven. And he got nothing to deal with them. Killing the gas. Very good for me. Uh, yeah, lowering his potential. This put yeah to to produce stuff. I would love to need to take the gases and put this one into a uh, planetary fortress. Look at that! The bit of mine gets killed. I'm losing a raven here and there, but PDD, Viking as well, Seeker missile, auto turrets. He's in such a rough spot. And here you can see it is possible to win against Mag in Master League. If you are able to deal enough damage and go down for Vikings and Raven, they are just so strong. He needs to evacuate. He will lose the space because of the turrets and the Vikings. Bye bye, Orbital Command. He got another base right here, but this can be easily contested. He flooded in the barracks again at a spot where it could be easily sniped, but yeah. Harvester wise, it's looking okay. Income wise, as well. Supply wise, look at that. Army supply. And the thing is, most of the army supplies in Raven and Vikings for me, not in Bio. I mean, there are some Marines and tanks, yeah, but uh, I just got plus two uh, attack as well for Bio and Mac. Not producing stuff here. Mm, he's trying. Oh, Vitamines. I guess what he's trying is I uh, didn't get drilling claws. That's a big mistake. I guess he wants to try to burrow them underneath. The Vikings and the Raven. Where are they now? Uh, by the way, oh, back at home being repaired. That's nice. Uh, nice. So, oh! The Vitamine damaging all those Vikings. That's unfortunate for them. Hmm, and there's the siege. That's why you don't want to take the space if you can't secure with tanks and Vikings because it's so annoying. Against any race. A very difficult base to take. I should have had one or two tanks here as well as well as eight marines. But he's clearing this. I won't get the planetary, I guess. Yeah, he will just repair it and be fine. Uh, this tank. Oh, dealing still some damage. He will land the Vikings, but... Yeah, I guess it's okay. Still, look at the supply. 3-3 uh, three, three on the way for me. For attack for Mac and Bio. And he can't afford anything. He's on one mining base with just only 34 SCVs. And he also got just two orbital commands, so not the best one. Those turrets, still annoying as hell there. They live so long. And there we go, Vikings. A lot of Vikings, a lot of Raven. Good scans going down from both players, I guess. And there we have the auto turrets. They are so good against Widow Mines. PDDs as well against the Vikings. He landed the Vikings, but this might be the biggest mistake he could have made. Look at that! Seeker missile! Boom! And the Vitamines not shooting at the turrets. That's not gonna work. Never ever. So he loses a lot of his army there for almost nothing. Yeah, the energy on the Raven is low now, but I dealt so much damage. There's another Bio Assault, and I don't have one Medivac. No Medivac here, just Bio. 
trade away your bioforces, try to snipe tanks and be annoying with the Raven Viking. And at some point, ooh, two more auto commands. At some point, I will be able to win. There we go, two more factories. I could also throw down two more barracks or four more barracks. I got the income, I got the money, I got the CVs and the upgrades. Finally, the 28 minute Chunkyasif Shells Marauder strategy. Very strong. Uh, don't do this. Get it way earlier, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, good, we got the space set up. I'm a bit inactive now. If I don't want to rush it down, I can play it safely. This guy, this barcode Terran, is just playing on one base. Currently, technically. This one is almost mined out. He should lift this orbital command. But he's so low in income, as you can see. And Mac needs income or a bank. If you can't max out, then Mac is super weak. You need like 160 supply uh, as a Mac player. Then you're in pretty damn good shape. But 100? This is very bad. Uh, he got no air control. The Vikings will die immediately. His upgrade's not as good as mine. Uh, there's a small force, a small tech force, but he will lose. Look at that, those auto tools are so strong. And there we go, cloak, dur durable materials, ship plating. I would love to see Isaac auto tracking. I'm losing the orbital com command. And he's killing me. So many CVs here. A lot indeed, but they are the Raven. Ooh, this is last attack. I got tanks there. Oh, the Venomines! Carefully there! No! Oh, losing a lot here. That was unnecessary. But in the end... Okay, it's not the orbital command, but I guess that's just it. He lost the planetary fortress. He can't mine anything right here. I guess it's the GG scan. And there we go. GG. <sighs> Finally, I'm through. Well, there are some good games. I hope you enjoyed. And maybe we will see us in the letter. That would be awesome as well. Or I make it through to GM. But this will take some time. For now, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.